Hey, hey Chatter Gang. Again. We've got three more Benidorm breakfasts for you. These are all in Benidorm's new town and we want you to tell us which you think's best because he's Colin. He's Tim. And, and together, together we, we are, are the, the Chatter, Chatter guys. guys. Come on, let's get noshing. Uh, Tim, what's your first impressions of Bob's Beach Park? Uh, I really like it so far. The uh, staff are nice and friendly. Even the guy who was out on the street uh, trying to coax people into the building. All very, very nice. I like that they carry the theme right through and that is one spectacular view. I think it's even better than the view from uh, Refuel. The only thing with Timmy music, it's just spoiling it. I, I'm better having nothing, but so far really good. Tell me what are your first impressions? Uh, not really much to add on to that term other than it looks a good menu. Uh, plenty of choices, but that view is to die for. It feels like you're at the centre of looking out towards Benidorm Island, and I'll give you a good shot of it when we're coming out. So thank you to Tracy, uh, 8065, one of our subscribers. Thank you for recommending this play. Go big, you might as well go big. You know what I said? You can have one. Have a big one. Good shot, guy. Okay. Well. Thank you. So, this is my English breakfast. Could have had a Scottish breakfast, but I think they have black pudding on. And nobody wants that. Looks very nice. Colin, on a scale one to ten, how hungover are we this morning? Well, if you'd have asked me this morning at ten o'clock, I'd have been a nine. All right. I was wasted. <laughs> uh, an hour ago, to be honest. Uh, but now I've had this walk down to uh, the bar where it is at the um, at the far end of Levanta Beach. Uh, I feel pretty busy, so I'm going to drop it down for a three. Lowest score so far. Now then, that's Little Bob's Beach Bar. How was your bacon butter, Colin? It was really, really nice. Uh, there was fat on the bacon, which uh, some people might not like it. I love it. It was yeah, very, me too. very, very tasty. Now, she did ask me if I wanted the um, bacon butter toasted, which I thought, mm, I don't know. And I thought, yes, please. And it made such a difference to just what might have been a normal um, sandwich. My normal sandwich. <laughs> <Yes>. However, <laughs> It also come with a bit of salad as well, so there were a bit of lettuce, a bit of pepper, and a, a tomato and cucumber. I didn't have the tomato and I didn't have the cucumber. <laughs> however, halfway there. <laughs> however, it was a very nice touch. It made a difference to the box standard bacon sandwich that we've had everywhere else. Yeah, it? Well, yeah. Before uh, I've usually had the bacon sandwich and just had it on, just slapped on the plate, no arrangement or anything like that, and it did look really nice. And then I said it was toasted. Well, they had the option of having it toasted. Uh, nice little touch. My breakfast also very nice, just the right amount for me. Uh, I think it was a catering sausage, but they cooked it really well. It's kind of crispy on the ends, and oh, wow. it was really nice. Um, really, really enjoyed it. The only thing I didn't like is that tinny music. Yeah. Um, I was but trying to understand why they would have it in when, because it kept cutting out, and you could hear the sound of the the ocean, which was great because it's a beach bar. And I think maybe the only reason that they have it is to drown out the music from the uh, cafes on either side. Yeah, that's the um, Because the, the music so that I'm hearing now is the music from the other bars. Yes, it is, yeah. But um, that's the only thing, uh, and it certainly didn't put me off. I would definitely come uh, go there again. So 100%. thank you very much for recommending it. Yes, thank you. Um, yeah, that was a, a great experience. And they also do um, 
bucket deals as well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we missed that one yesterday, didn't we? We might come back here again. We will and definitely come back here again. One final point, that cracking view. We'll give you another look at it. Oh, yeah, look at this view. For this morning's breakfast, we are eating at the Garrison Sports Bar. It's been recommended by one of the chatty gang, so let's see what it's like. So we're just coming down, just to give you an idea where it is, it's at the bottom of the, uh, the strip road, would you say? Yes. Where Mor the famous Morgan Tavern is, as featured on Benny Dom's Neptunes. And then if you swing back round here, you'll see the Flash Hotel, which is uh, prominent on the street. And then we're going up, we've just come off uh, Garona Street and we're going up Dara, Dara Madar. Is it Dara Madar? Uh, it is. Dara Madar. Street. Calypso Terrace. What do you reckon the temperature is today, Colin? So on one of the notice boards, it said 30. Right. So I did a bit, uh, I, I, I knew how much it, it were, but uh, it does feel it, doesn't it, as well? Very warm again this very morning. Warm. Uh, Hotel Rossamar. Next to Riviera. It's the Ambassador's got lovely balconies, aren't they? Yes, they have. They've got a pink balcony glass. And as we're filming this today, it is Sunday. It's one o'clock at Spanish time. And it's the 9th of September. 2024. 2024. See, last time we come, in July, it was relatively quiet in Riviera, weren't it? Yes, so, it was. As months change and it gets cooler, uh, the more popular with the uh, British. Next up, you've got the uh, famous Uncle Peds. Indeed, yep. It's usually very busy there, isn't it? Yeah, very popular. Yeah. I might have to get a table lock. We would this morning, or this afternoon. Have we said that there's one here? <laughs> oh no, somebody's just nicked it. And uh, we have led you on a wild goose chase. <laughs> because that's not where it is, it's just around the corner. It's around the corner. Google Maps does make it sad sometimes. So there is probably a better way to uh, find it. Uh, we've just gone around the block, really. Yeah, we've had a four hour, hour So hike. it is actually on Calais Le 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 Lepanto. It is? Which is just off Delamardo, but we've had a nice walk up, haven't we? We have. A hot walk yes. up. Yeah, if you find your way to talk of the coast, or indeed the Indian Tandoori Curry House, um, it is opposite it there. It's, it's, we would struggle finding this, wouldn't we, really? Yeah, because you can't see the sign from the street, because it's a bit stepped back. But this is where mm. we are, the garrison. <laughs> Tim, what is your first impressions of the garrison? Uh, it seems all right. The decor's nothing really special, but uh, waitress is nice and friendly. So uh, let's see what the breakfast is like. And Colin, what are your first impressions of the garrison? Good first impressions, Tim. I'll tell you why. It's off the beaten track, so to speak, uh, but you can tell the people here are back come here quite often, so I'm looking forward to sampling the breakfast. Uh, because it's off the beaten track, we've got to straight away, and uh, I don't think we will be waiting long for a uh, breakfast, so fingers crossed. We'll see. And honestly. 
look at that, that looks a uh, fine breakfast that. Just right quantity for me that, for a small breakfast. Uh, beans don't look runny. Bacon looks uh, really crispy. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I would just like to add, it is not HP sauce. <laughs> oh dear. And on a scale one to ten, Colin, how hungover are you this morning? Well, we've had quite a walk up here, uh, so that has, that has uh, dropped the thermometer. But it is now a nice six. Six out of ten. Thank you. There's my Weetabix. And over here is my toast and jam. And butter, I think. That's breakfast at the garrison for you. Colin, what are your final thoughts? Yeah, really good. The breakfast. Um, I'll go through the breakfast first. Orange juice, really nice. Coffee, really nice. My breakfast, which was the small breakfast, for you or I think it was. Yes, it was. Uh, the bacon was, although I described it as being crispy looking, uh, it weren't crispy, but it was probably the best bacon I've had in Benidorm. Uh, the sausage were a catering sausage, a standard catering sausage, neither, neither spicy nor uh, meaty, uh, uh, so that was as they are. Um, the beans were really good consistency, really enjoyed the beans um, and the egg were perfect and the toast were just how I liked it. So all in all, it was a perfect breakfast, however, the brown sauce. I know you can't blame them for the brown sauce, but they could get some HP sauce. <laughs> I never put it on the food when it's not HP, I just put it at the side of the beans and uh, as I had one little, it would just, it would like vinegar. Uh, if I'd have put it on my food, I'd have had to have left my food, and uh, for that reason, that's why I do it. Uh, and some some of it run into my beans, and I couldn't enjoy my beans. Oh no! Yeah, but uh, I really enjoyed that breakfast. I would definitely recommend that. I'll definitely. I know we don't. We ask you to uh, tell us which you think was the best, but I would definitely come back to that place, Tim. You didn't have. Sorry, you didn't have. Oh, I'll, hello. Let, I'll, let, <laughs> I'll let you talk now. Thank you. What were you going to ask me, Colin? Oh, Tim. <laughs> yes. You did not go with the uh, t uh, traditional I English breakfast, did, did you? I went off piece. I went for Weetabix and toast and jam, which not much you can do wrong with Weetabix. However, the menu did say ice cold milk and it was a room temperature milk. Um, and that was a pretty hot room. Um, the toast. It were all right. It's just a bit cheap white bread, and you can get such nice bread in Spain, probably for not much more money. I don't, I don't know why restaurants don't have that instead of the horrible supermarket stuff. Um, the thing that really spoiled it for me was um, the smoking area was right next to where we were, and there was an inconsiderate smoker. Uh, Puffing away, and yeah, we had a waff of smoke. Didn't can't, we? I just breakfast. can't. If you know what's the point of eating, I know you can smell his cigarette smoke. So, uh, I just had a couple of bites of my toast and had to leave the rest of it because it spoiled it. So, I won't be going back there again if they uh, allow smokers where right next to where people are eating. Um, su su surprised about what you said about the coffee to me, it didn't taste much, it was nice and hot. Uh, nice and frothy, but didn't have much flavour for me. All right. Okay. And so I was disappointed with my breakfast, but I have to say, Colin's breakfast looked absolutely lovely. Uh, it looked like one of the nicest breakfasts we've had in Benidorm for a long, it long was time. Really nice. There you go. Contrast two sides to the garrison. If you have been to the garrison, let us know how you got on. Please do, and thank you for recommending it. Today we're eating at Uncle Ron's, which is probably the most famous breakfast place that we've ever eaten at in Benidorm. Yeah. You'll find Uncle Ron's on Calle de Londres. Yep, and if you look out for the this entrance, or the top entrance to Indoor Market, if you swing across then you'll see uh, KFC. And where we're going is straight up here, look. You might remember that we did a review of this restaurant, Stars, it's a tapas restaurant. Yeah absolutely delish 
Yeah, if you are looking for a good eating experience in Benidorm, we would not we we could not recommend this place highly enough. It's beautiful. and if you're looking for a nice boozy video with our friend Drew, that's the one to watch. Yeah. A few more restaurants up here. Yep. Uh, pie and mash there, look. Yeah. yeah. Wonder what they serve there. It's like they've got some bucket deals in as well. Mm. A few party bars. I think Uncle Ron's is probably most famous for cheap beer. Yeah. You think? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, it is quite steep, this hill, isn't it? So it is. You need to be have uh, good on your pins coming up here. Yes. Take your time if you're not. There's no rush. <laughs> here we are. In Uncle Ron's. Come on, let's get mushing. Indeed. Come on. Tim, we've not been in Uncle Ron's before. No, we haven't. Uh, what's your first impressions? Well, it's um, nice enough, your standard Benidorm cafe. I'm certainly appreciating the air conditioning because it's another hot one in Benidorm today. <laughs> And what do you think, Colin? Really good. Uh, it's famous for a few things uh, here at Uncle Ron's. It's famous for the Belly Buster Challenge. Also, the Hot Wings Challenge with uh, chili, so uh, chili sauces. Also famous for the Amstel One Euro Pint and uh, One Euro House Wine. We've not had any of them. But like you said, Tim, it's also got great air conditioning. They advertise it really well. And uh, it's the most coldest place in Benidorm. That's why I am. Nice little quickly turned out. Colin, on a scale one to ten. Come over, are you this morning? Three this morning, very fresh. Wow. On a scale of one to ten, how, how tired I am. I'm very tired, but not on over. Well, that was Uncle Ron's breakfast, Tim. It was. What did you think of it, Colin? Um, I thought the service, although they were really quick, it did feel like they were really quick. Um, there didn't seem to be any kind of homely atmosphere in there. It seemed to be like a supermarket breakfast place. Uh, however, that won't take anything away from the breakfast, even though it come really quick. Yeah, it, was, it came straight away, didn't it, yeah. as soon as we'd ordered it? The bacon, I didn't think there were any, anything special about the bacon, but that sausage was spicy and it was meaty. Um, that was the perfect Benidorm sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Just how I like was. it. <laughs> The egg it were all right, the egg were nice, the tomato were nice. Uh, no HP sauce though, come on. Tim? Uh, well, my egg was a bit overdone. Uh, I've got a feeling that it's been in the frying pan before we even ordered it. Um, what I did like was, although it was white sliced bread, it was toasty bread, not the usual thin slice that we've got everywhere else. So that was a plus. Um, I had a little bit of trouble paying um, we weren't clear whether they uh, they gave you a bill or you went to the counter so I asked the waitress if you could pay she and she just went yes you can <laughs> and then we didn't see her again did we no. um, so I eventually went to the counter and they just carried on chatting yeah um, so I, didn't, it, I didn't notice that there was there seemed to be in a world of their own this time it, they weren't focused on the customers I have no. to say um, the bill came to 16 euros altogether the small breakfast on its own was 4 euros so I'm reckoning the coffee must have been two euros and the orange juice must have been two euros. What did you think to the coffee? Uh, it was nice. I like the coffee. Mm. Uh, nice and hot. Yeah, uh, it was nice. So that is Benidorm. That is breakfast at Uncle Ron's. Now then, that's three more Benidorm breakfasts from the new town. We tried the garrison in the new town. We also tried Little Bob's, which was on the far end of Levanta Beach. And then the famous Uncle Ron's in the Rincon Deluxe or Rincon Deloy area of Benidorm.
please let us know which one you thought was the best in the comments and if you do like the video please give us a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel and don't want to miss out of any of our future videos then please subscribe because it'll cost you absolutely not thanks for watching chatter gang we'll see you next time adios hasta luego bye so that's if you are new to the channel and don't want to miss out of any of our future videos then we have got those microphones on we'll start that again <laughs>